language estimation based on deep learning algorithms. So what that is really, um, in fact, based on facial feature, we want to estimate the people's age. This was the case of age estimation that how you estimate uh, a people's age. Um, it's uh, like per, from perspective of user. And uh, how does it really work from pers uh, perspective of a, a programmer? For that, we need to see the content of this presentation. This is a field which is talking about how human can normally and uh, pretty uh, have uh, can have good interaction with computers. The field uh, which is named HCI. So in HCI, the age estimation is very important. For example, uh, if you see the new Windows, is, there is a new features based on face identification and mean when you use your computer, you don't need to tap your password. You scan your face and make you log into your computer. Uh, for, by this way, your computer is just um, dedicated. Your computer is just dedicated to one person. So it means just you can use your computer and no one can have access it. So when there is a, um, a subject of um, uh, face identification, to make you log into your computer, there is also important a subject of age estimation because to identify a face better, it's good to estimate it first. Age estimation is, um, as you see, it's a much, uh, it's a branch of face recognition because when you, uh, if you don't recognize a face, you can't estimate a task for it, right? So face, uh, um, face recognition, as you see, you, you recognize your face due to some points and some. Uh, things that we will discuss next. The task of um, automatic age estimation that we said before, in fact, how you just give your picture to your computer and it estimates your task, uh, this this process, this complete process is divided into special process or two main tasks, which is called age classification task and age regression task. The age classification task is a task in which you uh, give your picture as an input to the network and it estimates your task and give us a label like as you see the in the picture that uh, that shown our teacher uh, 39 years old I'm sorry 28 <laughs> so it's a level and the other task is age regression task which is about the task when the output is shown to the user and and mean when the 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 step of image processing happen after that when the output is shown to the user that, that, that this person is this year's old this task is called age regression task so I want to much focus on the age classification task because it's so important and it's uh, it have a lot of steps and quite difficult from the age regression task an algorithm how does it really work so there's apps for age estimation tasks. You just take your image and in just in few seconds it represents you, it shows you your age. So how does it, it's just a simple process that happened in, uh, in microsecond maybe. But uh, there's a lot of steps. Um, just to show you how does it really work from the uh, beginning to end, uh, there's few steps. We use image as an input and then uh, by the help of deep convolutional networks which are uh, networks of uh, high level performing in this section we estimate the task so for uh, just look at the blue uh, blue writing and uh, blue section there's face identification so we first um, do the face identification task then the age is uh, classified by classification task and then we lose something like lose function between these tasks so tasks to estimate the real image. The algorithm which are used in this section are deep convolutional networks algorithm or deep learning algorithm which are machine learning algorithm and uh, the word the job of this algorithm is to extract high level facial feature from the image. Okay, and other is SelfMax, which is used for age classification, and state of the art, which is used for high level general development and deep ID. The deep ID is one of the most important algorithms, which are quite similar to the deep convolutional networks. So we, I want to discuss the deep ID algorithm to to show you how does it really work. In deep ID structure, when you you give your a you, your image, when you give your image. Um, to process it and estimate your uh, age 
In fact, your image got cropped 60 patches. Just to submit your task, به خاطر که زن شما رو مشخص کنه اکستان به شست حسک کراب میشه then assigned to a single network so in fact just for age estimation we have 60 networks to work on it it's about at first the algorithm uh, algorithm works and it create a bounding box and then we the demonstrate the five key points as you showed the five key, five key points are eyes, two eyes and nose and two side of lips and first um, a bounded box uh, is created from the faces and uh, to estimate a each uh, on each uh, estimation task to perform age estimation task at first there should be age detection task to detect the face from other parts that it's not like hand it's not like uh, your food or, or other so it's like your it's it's your face okay then we define the five key points the five key points which are two eyes nose and lips and also their two side of the lips is so important, especially for our algorithm that we search on it. This is just one algorithm. It's not just only one algorithm. For each estimation, there are a lot of few hundreds of algorithms. And also for smile, there's hundreds of algorithms to estimate. They're working together and their combination shows this result. I use this pic that to show you, there's not just about age estimation algorithms. There are about smile estimation algorithms and gender estimation also.